Hello, friends. Last night I was watching the WTA Miami Open Bianca and Dreski's match. And at first I was quite annoyed because there was a rain delay and it wasn't on when I thought it would be on and so on. Anyway, later I was able to catch some of the match and Bianca lost in a tiebreaker in the first set. Truthfully, she was never in the tiebreaker, but the fact that she pushed it to, to a tiebreaker was quite impressive. And then in the second set, on a kind of a weird play, she was just shuffling across the baseline and seemingly rolled her ankle badly and uh, and went down in a heap, kind of crying, screaming in pain. It was quite a, a traumatic scene, particularly because her mother is there in the audience and watching her crying, watching uh, Andrescu being taken off the court in a wheelchair, probably as slowly as I could you could ever imagine. I kept thinking, like, just get her off the court. Like, she's obviously in agony, and um, I don't know. It just seemed odd to me that uh, they were just kind of leaving her there in the corner for a little while. Anyway, the more I thought about it last night and this morning, uh, the more compelled I was to come on and do this little video. Because I think, you know, when you suffer an injury, uh, you know, I don't know the extent of her injury right now, but I can relate because many years ago while playing hockey, I uh, went over on my ankle and ended up breaking it and having to have surgery and have two screws put in it. And I think it was in a cast for six or eight weeks, something like that. And then a year later, I had to get the screws removed. So I kind of felt the pain, or was reminded of the pain I felt when I went over on my ankle like that. And it got me to thinking about, you know, in a case like this with this injury, she's just kind of fought her way back uh, to a competitive level. Here she is in the round of 16 at the Miami Open. And on a good uh, a good clip, some some of the top seeds have already been eliminated. So probably a great opportunity for her to go deep in this tournament. And here she is suffering uh, another injury and having another setback. And I thought, you know, at a time like this, it reminds me of the old Chinese farmer parable where, uh, you know, the Chinese farmer's horse runs away and the whole village gathers around and talks to him. Oh, this is terrible. And the farmer's response is, oh, baby. And then a few days go by and the horse comes back and with it, he brings several wild horses. Everyone gathers around and says, oh, this is so terrific. Now you have even more horses. This is what an amazing thing. And again, the farmer's response is maybe. And then his son is out training one of the wild horses and gets thrown from the horse and breaks his leg. And they all gather around. Oh, this is so terrible that your son's broke his leg. The farmer's response again, maybe. And a few days later, the local warlord uh, comes by to conscript young men to go fight in some war or something. And they can't take his son because of his broken leg. And all the, the villagers gather around and say, Oh my God, this is terrific that your son's leg was broken and he doesn't have to go off and fight. And again, the farmer says, maybe. So the moral of the story is, you know, we really don't know. Is, is this injury to Andrescu, a, you know, the worst thing that could ever happen? Or, you know, a year or two years down the road, could this be the best thing that's ever happened to her? And, you know, the best thing that ever happened to her may or may not have anything to do with tennis at all. You know, she could never play another tennis match in her career and go on and live a, a beautiful life. And, you know, she's a young lady, maybe have kids and raise a family and do all sorts of stuff in tennis or in fashion or otherwise. Or she could come back and train even harder and uh, and learn something from, from this whole experience about resilience and determination and come back and dominate the tour and win another U.S. Open or multiple Grand Slams. Who knows? Uh, that's the whole point. The future is an incomplete equation. And uh, so my advice to Bianca and Drescu is just be as present as possible. Listen to your body. Do what you need to, to do to heal both physically and mentally. And, uh, you know, when you operate from a clear, calm mind, you will be guided and you'll know exactly what to do whether that's uh, tennis or something else. Anyway, uh, the, and I'd say that advice is not only for Bianca and Drescu, but for all of us. So with that, thanks for listening. Now go unleash your potential.